good foggy morning, everybody. Happy iPhone release day. Alright. Can't see much of the mountain. <laughs> and it's like under 50 degrees outside. 49 degrees out today. So I decided that it'd be a good day to uh, have a hot, nice hot cup of coffee. Sit down your buddy up in shorts and in my new Under Armour <laughs> uh, quarter zip. I got it Ross's the other day, so not bragging, just, you know, anyway. Oh, so, uh, yeah, last night, um, watching Revenge, I sat on the big recliner, eyes closed, and I passed the hell out. Um, we didn't, we didn't even finish the second episode, because I was out cold. I, she shut everything off and went upstairs, I sat there for a little while longer, and finally I went upstairs and just crawled in bed, and I think it, was just a little bit after eight going for nine o'clock or something like that <laughs> gone out and uh now i woke up at like six something i woke up at four something too but it was it's a little after six six thirty now after making a cup of coffee going downstairs and all that stuff so good morning and uh it's friday and uh if you were lucky enough to get the pre-order and you're getting your iphone today let me know in the comments. If you're not, if you don't care, I, hey, that's fine too. I'm just asking. Anyway. Come on, Dopey Dog. Let's go. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. All right, there's a better shot of that. The mountain's starting to show a little more. Um, it's beautiful. I love the foggy mornings. They just kind of look, uh, especially Halloween time. <laughs> Looks nice and creepy. Okay, finally got you freaking working. Um, using my brain here a little bit. But I'm trying not to do like I did last year and not record uh, throughout the day because the other phone is coming because it didn't come until super late. And I didn't have a lot of video, yada, yada, yada. So, um, yeah, just we've been busy though this morning. Uh, getting curtains down, cleaning up a little bit here and there. She's putting decorations out. I've been trying to edit, but I got sucked into curtain duty. So, Priya's not feeling the greatest. Well, Mateo's scratching really bad today. So the dogs are doing absolutely miserable on this day. So, yeah. But yeah, yesterday when I got home, Priya was all playful and happy and doing good. And then this morning, she won't eat breakfast. So... She ate dinner last night. She won't eat breakfast. She ate a little bit. She gave her some saltine crackers. But then she puts broth on her breakfast. And now it's all just mushy. And Priya doesn't like that at all. So she's probably not going to eat that at all. And her slippery elm is in there. So I don't know what she did there. But anyway, got to vacuum this room. And kind of clean up a little bit. I really want to get rid of that cat tree. But I struggled because this morning Cho got up. Not Cho, but Finn got up on it. And now she's sleeping away soundly in the other one. So precious. So precious. Alright guys, time to get to, to work here. Okay, we're after 10 o'clock. 10.30? 10 10.23. 10 Finally got little man out. Got the room vacuum. They actually moved their crates to vacuum underneath them. Wasn't too bad. Just never know sometimes with treats and stuff. Weather is still brisk, light breeze, and just kind of uh, overcast or foggy. I'm not sure which. So, take a look down that way. I'm gonna say foggy, according to the mountain. All right. So, does this bush here actually bloom twice a year? Because it has not shown any sign of life, but I remember it being white in the spring, and I don't remember blooming this year. So, is it, I don't know, but that is definitely not white, and, uh, is it blooming? I can't tell from how far away I am, but, hmm. Oh, good afternoon, everybody, still waiting, but nonetheless, I have gotten myself kind of busy. Keep my brain busy, and just keeping out front. <laughs> Trying to knock this bush down a few inches to make it a little more manageable, and cutting off some of this side here as well. I'm going to uh, turn, obviously going to turn the back, and uh, thank God for our little step stool that we got last Christmas, because it gets me back in here real nice. I think I'm going to move it up one more so I can get this edge here, 
And I'm literally trying to take about six inches off this thing, try to get a little more manageable. I think I might redecorate this one this year, but I think I might get the lighting like we had over there. But that one's been knocked down, as you can tell, by all the debris quite a bit. Still could go down more, but this guy's just not powerful enough. One day I might go back over to Thompson and see if they don't have a <clears throat> uh, Toro, I think is what my blower is. Or Torville, I don't know, it's one of those brands. But see if one that doesn't match my battery and get a second battery and be able to do some serious trimming. It is just simply too much for little man watching all this work. His eyes are closed. Oh, 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 sliver of eye. It's like, oh, you looking at me? <laughs> Hi, buddy. All right, guys, I'll in this box contains what I've been waiting for all day long. I don't want to flip it over because uh, I don't want you to see my address and come and visit me. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Like anybody would waste their time. All right, so I'll give me a couple minutes here. I'll get it opened up here, and we're going to uh, switch over to it and get working on it so we can uh, hopefully figure out how eSIM's going to screw my account up really. I'm on the fence. Do I want to put it on this line or do I want to try to put it on my main line? Because the Apple Watch is going to this line. Uh, all right, there it is. Uh, congratulations, you now on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Oh, come on, switch over. I guess you don't want to switch over today. Actually, you know what? This one might not actually be on the thing. And where does it say? Silver, one terabyte. Now that we have eSIM, I don't want to show too much there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright. This, I might not have the auto switching on. And it now is mine. <laughs> I broke the seal. Uh, come on. Really, did they? Oh wow, they sealed top and bottom this year. Did they do that last year? I don't remember that. Let's try that again. Ta da! Yeah. From this side, you wouldn't even really notice. There it is. Improving it's a 14. No sim tray. Yeah, it's pretty bulky. Feels pretty heavy. Like every last few models. And. Supposed to have the thinnest bezels ever on an iPhone. Hmm. Is it going? Oh, there it goes. Okay, we're powered on. All right, give me a few minutes to get it set up, and we'll see the dynamic island, and hopefully we can get this thing solarized and start filming. Oh, that's not very nice of Priya. She ran away from me. But anyway, all right, here we go. We're set up. And uh, I was able to put it on the line I wanted to. So the gold phone now is deactivated. So I have to switch SIM cards from the silver phone over to the gold phone. And then I'm going to erase the gold phone and set it up with the silver phone. So all my stuff is on there. This phone right now is blank. I'm not going to leave it that way, though, because I want to use the 14 Pro Max for my main line. And for my, <clears throat> um, yeah, everything, basically, camera as well. But the gold phone is going to be switched to the car. Music is an issue. So, okay, we are up and running. And I just got to program you to the shift cam. All right, first video with the princess, and I think I need to change some more settings. I've been <laughs> playing. Okay, so 1x, ultra-wide, back to 1x, 2, which I think is going to be a feature I actually do enjoy, even though it's just cropping in on the sensor, and then 3x. Not much, but it's, it, it's subtle. I like how Apple does their transition. So that's in the same lens, and that's a different lens. So one and two are both the main lens. So they did give you a zoom feature with the main lens. You guys are set up on the shift cam, no microphone. So we're going to do all testing with the iPhone 14 Pro Max in its native audio for at least today and tomorrow. Going forward, I'm sure I'll put the microphones back on it sometime. So right now I am trying to erase the gold phone and then I'm going to copy the silver phone onto the gold phone. I've already switched SIM cards. So that'll become my main line this is the gold phones line, which is where the ultra watch will be. I gotta do watches yet, because none of that's working right now. <laughs> Everything is so screwed up. But 
yeah, so the gold watch will have to go to this one. And I'll do... Hmm. I could do both stainless steel watches to this. No, it doesn't matter. Well, because the silver stainless steel is the one that's shipping off. No, it's not shipping off. It's paid off. No, the gold watch is paid off. Yeah, the gold watch is cheaper. Anyway, let's get walking. we got to take these dogs out and take them for laps because uh, and see some outdoor footage with this bad boy. So as I mentioned, the action cam, which right now isn't going to do much because we're not moving, um, starts off at the 0.5 lens. You can go to the other lenses. You have all three options. Um, and it looks like it's also in Pro Res. Are you kidding me? Oh, puppy, we got super stabilization now for you. Okay, so, whoop, still got one more thing out here. <laughs> I'm going to take that out of the bush, but bushes are done, cleaned up. And I did dump the potting soil. I got to get the other bag of mulch. And I was going to put the fencing that we had in here that we took out when they're like, oh, you can't have anything in there, and they never did a damn thing with it. That bush came out pretty good. It looks better. And I gotta move Mateus or Prius flag back over to the other side now that I cleaned that up. But uh, yeah, we just have uh, our uh, Buddha frog doing his prayer. But I'm gonna put the fencing back up in there because I'm gonna start getting ready for Christmas lights. Yay! I'm using the shift cam to charge this as well, but I did trim all the way down in there. So let's check out that 2X lens because that'll give you zoom on your main lens. It's all trimmed back in there. First time in a long time I've done that. So, do 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 do. Out to point five. Came out to pretty decent. I don't know. I like our yard being. It makes it feel bigger when you're sitting out here looking. It just gives you that. Hey, we have a big yard. Stepping, I'm just stepping in grass, and this is all trimmed up. So, it's all good. I just got to put all the crap away yet. So I'm gonna do that fast, since no dogs have come to me to go outside. And I brought the peacock back from up front um, so gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches on the grill tonight for me and some soup that's gonna be dinner I don't know if we're gonna sit out here I think we should sit out here eat and then go watch revenge hopefully we have to rewind the episode because I didn't see it be a good test with the air conditioner to see how it works well I tell you what that camera is snug right into that case unlike the gap I had with the 14 and the handle and the shift cam is warm enough due to the fact that it, uh, it's charging as well but it's only at like 65%. It's really, if you're doing a lot of heavy work with it, it's not going to charge the phone. It'll just maintain it um, with the shift cam. And I think my other one may have shipped. Oh, hey, I have a princess. I have a princess coming. Okay, we're going to go for a walk. We'll go for a walk. Okay. She goes, can, can I come out here first? I have to say, this guy here is the HSA45. It's a battery operated, no removable battery. It used one bar, and I cut both those trip, trim both those bushes with it. I was cut for quite a while. I was figuring my battery was getting low. Apparently not. So action, like I said, it doesn't go any higher than 2.8k. So you do lose a little bit there, and that's what you're in right now. I'm just curious to see what stabilization changes are. Uh, I didn't change it from the 0.5 lens, so that's what we're running it on right now. I'll we'll switch over here in a minute. Um, you can go HD. Or 2.8K, you can go 30 and 24. And then in cinematic, you can now go 4K 30, which was 1080 before, which never really used. So hold on, let me switch over to the main ones and see how zoomed in I am. <laughs> Doesn't look like it zooms in a whole lot. So, I mean, this is, I just want to give this lens, this option, a little bit of a test. But the fact you have all four lenses uh, in that mode is kind of nice. Unlike um, <clears throat> Samsung. <laughs> when you put that steady on, you can't change lenses. And you start off, I think, again on the ultra wide. So something just ran. Probably a squirrel or chipmunk. But I got the princess with me. And we're going for a nice little walk. Oh, switching hands. All right. Beautiful night again. A beautiful day all day. It's just been gorgeous out. So, be curious to see what you know stabilization changes there are. So let's switch over. Action is off. And now we're back to 4K. 
but it is shooting 2.8K Pro Res. So those file sizes are still not gonna be tiny. Is there a difference in zoom on me? Because obviously I'm not watching this back and seeing. Is there a difference in stabilization as well? Just doing a normal walk the dog type thing. The basset hound. Gotta walk the basset hound. She's been ant today. She's had a couple hiccups, but nothing aggressive. So she's been doing pretty good. But she could be doing better. Heat is already affecting this thing pretty heavy. Granted, I do have it charging, and it's not that warm outside, but the charging parting of it, the screen is dimming really bad. Come on, get off the road. Come on. Come on, you silly goofball, get off the road. So, you dine full if you're recording a lot, even in 70 degree weather. If you have it on a charging pack while you're doing it, like I do, it is going to heat it up and your screen's going to dim out pretty far. Okay, we're back in active because I want reaction. We're going to see if she runs, if I have to go with her. There she goes. And we're also in point five. Which is where I was testing some motion the other day. It definitely does crop in on you a little bit if you use the normal lens. And I played one clip back there. Not horribly. Oh, bugging the lens. Checking out the new iPhone. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah. That's a test. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Bria. Come on, Bria. Come on, Bria. I know he's barking at you. Come on, let's go. Come on. A little concerned to get her running around that I might have gotten her hiccup. But... Come on. Boy, it's fighting to change over to macro, but I did do it finally. Of course, pretty hit the thing. <laughs> it's not the best example, but I'm going to do more. Quite honest, it's actually dimming way more in photo mode than it is in video mode. Video mode seems to brighten the screen back up. Don't know why that is. And in testing from other YouTubers and tech guys, the 48 megapixel pro photos are three times the size. They are 75 megabytes per photo versus 25 without. Um, you know, the, the pro uh, raw on. Pro raw photos are three times the amount. I need to check my facts on there. Pro RAW photos on the iPhone 14 are three times that of the iPhone 13 because 12 megapixels versus 48 because it is a full 48 megapixel photo. So it's three times what the other one is size wise. That's what it was. Excuse me. Sorry about that. You doing, Pupper Dog? Means you're pretty puppy. Means you're pretty puppy. Yes, you are. You're gorgeous. Who's a cutie? <laughs> Don't eat my puppy dog. I know, she got in your yard. But she's a goofball. Come on, leave him alone. Him or her, I'm not sure which. She took some photos of these last night. The other phone on purpose. <coughs> Excuse me. Searching out the most colorful things I can find to test. <laughs> There's not a lot, like I said, this whole week. There's not a lot in bright colors around right now. For some reason, we've had a lot of rain, yeah. granted, we had a drought, a lot of grass is coming back. Plant life has already been cooked and thrown away. So, I guess we're gonna have to wait for autumn here for the leaves to change over. And this moment will be on par for that. All right, I think I'm screen recording. Looks like I have a little icon on, so there you go. Get an idea of what the screen looks like with the lenses. Yeah, 
crazy. You can actually, well, at least in the last model, you could record in both. It has dimmed quite a bit. But you got your 2X, which is the same main lens, and then your 3X lens, separate lenses. And your 0.5 is your other one. And right now I am running ProRes. I don't think, oh, you can switch to action mode. Well, nope, it shuts it down. I wasn't recording to begin with. Okay, so now we're in action mode. I don't know if you're going to notice it so much on the screen. Um, it automatically swapped it back to 0.5. I might have been on 0.5, doesn't matter, but nonetheless, I don't think you have that option when you're off. But you see how it switched to 2.8K up there in the left corner? And I'm running at 30 frames per second. But right now, I'm not even recording. I'm doing screen recording only. So I think it's still screen recording. I see a little green dot in my dynamic oil and <laughs> some YouTubers are picking on that. Not sure what all the other options you get here. Oh, what's Pro? What is Pro? Oh, Pro Res. Okay, so you get your switch off to that. Which we're gonna keep that on. So you can see I have 137 minutes of record time. I had 145 once I got everything downloaded to it, but no photos have uh, synced up yet. So I'm sure that time is going to drop pretty significantly, pretty fast. All right, turn monkey's turn, squirrel just ran away. Couldn't get a recording because the shift cam shut down. A plane up there somewhere, huttering around. He's a loud one. I just saw him, I don't know where he went. <laughs> He's turning away, there he is. Got the sun. There's the wings. <laughs> another squirrel. Checking out the zoom, see how clear it is. What are you doing? What are you doing? He goes, you're not putting me on YouTube, are you? <laughs> Time to get a little turd in action mode. What's he hurt? What are you hunting anyway? Dude, you better not be hunting snakes. Something's back there, though, obviously. Eh, 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 eh. Let's not go get too stupid. Come on. It's not you getting too stupid. Yeah. Really curious to see the if you notice even the drop down with it still being in ProRes. That's just crazy. It's really crazy that I can go into. They made enough filming cameras what they did for movement stuff. I'm guessing those POV guys that put them on their drones would probably use that mode for, the, for that jitter. Come on. Obviously not a feature you'd use um, <laughs> normally, I don't think. I mean, if I'm over at the park with Nixon and stuff, not like over at Mike's place in that park and I'm chasing them around, definitely a mode to think about using. But you, the other option is put it on the Osmo. But it might even help with the Osmo, I don't know. But you wouldn't have, obviously, you wouldn't be using the zoom controls then. That's all. Definitely noticing a bit of a lag with the Pro Raw Photo on the one X. A little bit slower, at least on mine right now. So hopefully that speeds up in time. <laughs> and I do stand corrected. It is charging while uh, doing all this recording and photos and everything and went from 65 to 78 percent with the um, <laughs> shift cam my brain just went <laughs> all right almost done with the full man's walk and get some grilled cheese going on the grill some soup and watch some revenge and then wait till low light to nighttime and uh, maybe take a little uh, expedition at that time as well to do some low light testing so i'll see you guys at dark I know, I said no more footage until after dark, but I had to show off my massive gra grill and grilled cheese sandwiches with so on sourdough bread. They look and smell yummy. Okay, dinner time. All right, well, there's that new flash in action. Uh, I don't have a dog with me. I just uh, want to do a low light test, as I said I was going to do. Um, see how this thing shines at night. I do have the auto switching on as well. But I'm only running a 4K30, so 
I don't think it lowers it any further than that. It might go down to 24, I don't know. Um, <laughs> things went bad. We went, we made dinner, and then the dogs got in a fight, and then Terry and I got in a fight. Not good, but anyway, my husband, I've been editing the first 24 minutes of this video. Of course, I had to knock a lot of pictures down in size, in length. So that cut me from my 28 minutes originally, so. I'm going to do a quick little low light, and I'll uh, probably get Priya out here. I'm thinking she'll come downstairs if I walk just a little ways. Watches are all set up to the correct phones now. I was getting confused, though, because <laughs> which phone's which? Because they're the same. I need to change the face on one of them. So, hope this looks good. I don't know. I'm not seeing any stars, but I have a bright flashlight in my eyes. So, let's turn that off and flip around and see what we can see. There's one star. And let's just see what happens with two X. Ooh, it went out of focus. You know, because it doesn't like, it doesn't like skies. So, okay, well that's not good. And are we gonna focus? <laughs> Try to find something big to focus on. Oh my, okay, now well, that's a problem. Try to focus on something here. Boy, I had to take it back out of the yeah, as soon as you go to the sky, you lose focus, and then it does not come back. That is not cool. There it goes. That's not good if you can't do night skies, though. There's just too much darkness. You almost have to put your hand in front of it to get it back. And then it finally does come back, and then it goes out again. Hmm. That's interesting, and not good. So the 2X lens does not like uh, night skies, at least not right now. That might need a uh, <laughs> little comment to Apple. You throw it in the 2X and it just loses it, blurs out. Hmm. The ultra wide worked and the 1X works. Uh, I took a couple photos as you saw there and uh, I don't know how good they came out. Let me throw them in and see. I don't know if Bria came down or not. No, she did not, so I'm not going to even bother. It is 11.30. I'm going to get this wrapped up and get some sleep. Got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Um, I don't know if we're meeting Mike at the park. i got to try to get a hold of him in the morning. Um, definitely have to run to Seals Grove and go to Best Buy. Um, pick up screen protector. And I also, for review purposes, we'll see how it works. But uh, Urban Armoring Gear actually released the Monarch case in Kevlar and in carbon fiber. I ordered the Kevlar version and they now have MagSafe. The only reason I ordered it. We'll see if it works with the shift cam and how it works with the chargers and how I like it on the phone because I like that case but at the same time with the MagSafe not being there it's always been a hindrance because you basically have to take it off. It says it's MagSafe available but put it on the charging pad and never charges. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little on the longer side and tomorrow we'll do more. Um, I will see you in the morning. Have a good night. Oh, real quick before I forget. The photo of the birch trees, the one photo that's I'm um, farther away from, it's a vertical photo. It's 115 megabytes in Pro Raw. The sky photo that was in horizontal was only 43 megabytes. So, interesting. I don't know why a vertical photo would be bigger but it is, so keep that in mind.